and welcome back my name is Marco Governali flight simulator 747 home cockpit so next video I'm gonna show you how I start my simulator and the other components so there you go I'm gonna start from flight simulator platform solutions what I showed you in a previous video it's uh, the platform where I launch everything from so of course the warper is already uh, initialize otherwise the screen would be uh, basically <laughs> two cones merging in the middle um, so the warper is programmed to start with windows so the moment I start windows the warper goes in effect and that's why the screen is straight and not uh, two cones but uh, so the first thing I do is uh, I execute FS9 so FS9 meaning the flight simulator um, has to be initialized before everything else and what this program does as I said before allocates certain yeah that is of course a custom uh, opening screen that I made uh, you know a, a splash screen and so called so again this uh, flight simulator platform solutions allocates whatever cores of the CPU you want to whatever programs you want okay so right now of course the lights are on in the room so you're not going to see a very clear picture but right now I want to show you the programs and how I start them and everything so that you can get a good idea okay then we'll turn the lights on and you're going to be amazed uh, off I mean and we're going to be amazed so now once I have uh, the simulator window open okay so Montreal that's fine uh, let's see let's change to daytime so we can see what we're doing and of course let's go on the runway why not so let's type C Y U L for Montreal, and there you go. Okay, weather doesn't really matter. Here, let's put nice and nice and uh, clean weather. And so, first of all, I start the simulator itself. So the airplane sets up uh, whatever I want. In this case, I'm just going to go straight to the runway. Of course, I do have uh, gates. Um, uh, gate program from uh, Aerosoft that does all the pushback and the voices and all the special effects. So as you can see here, as you can see here, uh, the gauges start in this fashion. They're all grouped together. So of course another must is FSUIPC without that you ain't going anywhere. FS FSUIPC allows you to custom allocate these gauges to your uh, uh, cockpit uh, screens and keep them there and locks them in place and if you need to adjust them of course you can do that uh, you just tell FSU IPC to allow you to move them and resize them you do your moving and resizing and then you lock them in place again so basically once you do that FSU IPC remembers the last location you've used them and by right clicking on each gauge by right clicking on each gauge and pressing undock they go straight where they belong. Okay. There you go. There they are. And, uh, and then, of course, next you right click, undock again. And bam. And it goes, the ACAS goes into place. And then, of course, the main PFD and the ND, there you go. So you right click again, and you go undock, and you're going to see them appear right here. Just watch. You see? So now, of course, they are roughly placed, as you can see the frames and everything. But the moment you um, maximize your main window, okay, so they will all enter. Then the gauges, they all size themselves in place properly the way you left them the last time. So that's how you do it. There you go. So now the whole thing is 180 degrees and. There you go. So that's as far as the main uh, um, uh, the simulator itself. Now I'm going to go back and show you how I start the rest. So I'm going to click outside so the, st the noise stops. So now the simulator is started. The second thing I start is FDC, which is right here. FDC is a flight deck companion. This is an unbelievable program because it basically it gives you all the extra noises in the cockpit and all the commands and they customize uh, um, uh, the flight attendants uh, um, announcements. Uh, 
you can set your the departure destination and then of course you input your uh, flight plan uh, arrival destination and it will do all kinds of things that a real airplane will do you know announcements at uh, so many minutes and uh, you know ladies and gentlemen we're gonna come on with our you know beverages and so on and so forth and then 10 minutes before landing and announces uh, uh, prepare for landing and store your um, your whatever and uh, it's it's extremely realistic and and it, this is one of the things you must have yes and so again once you input your uh, destination your departure destination you just minimize it and you're good to go the third thing i start is mpc mcp which is basically the software the interface for my uh, um, mcp uh, what's the right uh, mcp yeah module control panel so in other words the, the autopilot this is from uh, an italian company excellent company from um, um, CP flight, love it. I had it for more than three years. It works beautiful. I'll turn it on in a minute. And the last thing I start over here is the RAS runway um, awareness and advisory system. I simply minimize and it's good to go. So this guy here, I input the destination and then I minimize it. And then the actual module, the um, FSPS, again, I minimize that as well. Now we're good to go. So I undeck undock the gauges as you can see and then uh, this one here and, roll. and last but not least the pfd the primary flight uh, display and the navigation display and the one place so now when i click on the uh, connect on the uh, um, mcp uh, software it will maximize my front view and then i simply press alt enter to get the full screen and avoid the remove the frame around the window so now it's full and there you go so it's a little bright of course so there you go so now we have a running cockpit and uh, we're going to stop it uh, no, actually i want to show you one last thing here my uh, um, electronic flight track is a program i want to mention it's uh, i made it the splash screen of course but it's a program which I love, which is basically a air map, a moving air map, and I love it because it not only will show you all kinds of information about the flight itself, but it will show you your uh, position on the uh, there you go, your position on the air, uh, your gate, and the layout of the airport. And it's just gorgeous because let me see if I can get it in focus here. There you go. So there you go. Let me pull it closer. You see? It shows the airplane position. There you go. And uh, so you know you're taxing and everything to the runway. It's wonderful. I love it. And it's free. Uh, it used to be made by Apollo. Apollo, I believe, went out of business, a German company. And now somebody has picked it up. They just go search on uh, Google for uh, Movie Map Apollo, and you're going to find the new version, and it's free. Love it. Okay? So there you go. That's my outside. I darkened the camera a little bit. It looks gorgeous. Thank you for now. See you soon.